What's up guys, it's Tony from Astro Aura and this video is a kind of depressing video. So if you've seen them on, on the story, you know, your boy got COVID. Yeah, it says, <clears throat> this letter is a reference to the patient, Tony Anasquita, date of birth, confidential. <laughs> A rapid SARS COV2 test was performed on January 1st, 2020, January 4th, 2022. Patient has tested positive. Based on CDC guidelines, patient is advised to quarantine for five days. After this time, if there are no symptoms or these or these are resolving, you may continue regular activities with the use of a face mask around others. If after five if after five days you still have fever or symptoms are worsening, you need to quarantine until fever has resolved or at least 24 hours have passed without the use of fever reducing medication. So yeah, <clears throat> I started feeling symptoms around January 2nd, after I left McCadlin from my cousin's house. So if you don't know, we had to, we had to postpone one video because my great grandfather passed away I have I would have showed you the card, but I'm using my phone to record, so it's on the back of my phone. But um, yeah, my great grandfather passed away, so I went to McCallum for five days, and over there I stayed with my cousin and his family, with my cousin and my family basically, and I started to feel sick. I was I felt sick, but I had allergies. You know, it was nothing major, and then I left January second. But the funny thing is. Also on January second, they started getting sick. So then, excuse me. So I came back to Dallas, you know. I'm finished. I'm still feeling sick, and then I guess change the weather because it was hot over there in McAllen. Then when I came back to Dallas, it's like forty something degrees, right? <coughs> <coughs> um. So that happened, and then I went to sleep. And then I woke up one night and I felt terrible. I felt fatigue, I felt fever, I had congestion, sore throat, coughing. You know, I was out of it, right? Like, ignore the video, ignore the video. Hold on, we gonna, we gonna change it. <laughs> okay, so that happened. And then I woke up when and then I woke up and my stepdad had to put a VIX Vaporu on my chest my back and then my feet because I just couldn't I couldn't breathe straight and I was having trouble breathing so then I slept in with my brother my little brother this is his room it's not even my room and then um I woke up in the middle of the night and my back was drenched in sweat I, I'm telling you that shirt was full of sweat so I took it off I took off my my, my pants and my socks because I was hot as hell and I fell asleep and I woke up and I was like this is not normal if it was allergies, I should not be feeling this way. So I told my mom, I said, I said, I need a COVID test. You know, there's anywhere that has one because I'm not feeling so good. And she said, uh, she was saying, um, so I don't know, you know, because, you know, it's allergy season. Everybody's getting sick. So I'm pretty sure everybody was like, oh, we get a COVID test, COVID test, COVID test, COVID test. So they ran out. Everybody's out of stock. So that happened. And then, um... So my mom told me to go to my 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 child doctor, cause they had one one rapid test left. But you know, by the time I got there, there's like two people in front of me. I'm pretty sure they already ran out, and they did. And they had other tests, but that would took two to three days, and then it would cost like one twenty when the rapid test cost forty. So I'm like, that's a waste of time. Why would I? Why waste money on an actual test that takes longer, and is more expensive? You know what I mean? And I had work that same day, so I was like, I need to know. So then I went to this, went to this clinic, MD clinic, MD uh, child clinic, whatever. And there was a line, you know, I was waiting. I got there around 12. And then, <coughs> <coughs> I got there and then um, the police officer came. He was like, he said, you're here for a COVID test. You got an appointment? I was like, no. He was like, he said, well, you need an appointment after, before, at, well, after nine, you needed an appointment because that's when they started doing walk-ins. I was like, fuck. I was like, all right. So then I came back home to my mom. I said, 
Like they said I can't do it. I gotta have an appointment. So I'm just go early tomorrow. She said, okay, we'll just come into the house and you know, just go straight to the room and quarantine, I guess. So, you know, I walk in, almost sanitizing everything. It's depressing, honestly. It, it was honestly a depressing sight because it's like, damn, I'm locked away. And, you know, I got, you know, I did see my family, but you know, I kept my mask on. Well, I had this, this duck mask on, you know, I kept my distance from them, made sure I didn't touch them. I was six feet away from them. Cause you know, even if I didn't have it, I still didn't know. So I kept my distance from them. And then I fell asleep alone in this room, depressed, <laughs> in quarantine or prison. And I woke up the next morning, six o'clock, well, 6.40, when I was 6.30, I went to the clinic at 6.40 and there's already a line, a long ass line. And I'm like, shit, and, this, and the clinic didn't even open at till eight. So I got there at seven, I'm waiting there an hour with my brother, cause he, um, he told me, he said he said that he can't taste nothing and he's you know he's got like a few symptoms not as much as me because you know i had fatigue i felt weak i had a headache i had body my body was hurting my sore throat i was coughing a lot and congestion and you know i had all that shit. but you know good thing i can still taste and smell i'm glad for that <laughs> and then so you know we're, we're there waiting in line it's a drive through we're in the car and then, you know, he gets tested, I get tested, it takes an hour. It takes, like, so long, bro. And, you know, we finally got the results at 12, 12, 40. Almost, yeah, 1, basically. So we were there from 7, 7, uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1. We were there for 6 hours. And she came up to us, she gave us the paper, she said, yeah, you came out positive. Yeah, quarantine for five days. And if you're feeling better, then you get to move, just keep a mask on. But if not, then you got to quarantine for more. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I had it worse. So I knew. I knew damn. I knew damn. Like, fuck. I'm going to be there for a long ass time. Not, I know damn well five days ain't going ain't gonna to happen, bro. But, yeah, here I am. You know, I've been quarantined in this damn room for so long. I feel like I'm a prisoner. It's depressing. You know, I'm sad. I can't even see my family. can't see my girlfriend. I can't film videos for y'all. I can't do shit. I'm just in my room on my goddamn PlayStation, watching YouTube, Netflix, watching goddamn John Wick. I'm just here laying down on my ass. I'm gonna get fat. I know I'm gonna get fucking fat as I'm fat as it is, but I'm gonna fucking get obese, my nigga. Goddamn, bro. <sighs> it's just it's barely and it's barely day two, day two quarantine. It's Wednesday, January fifth or January sixth. I don't know. Geeks, you, you lose track of time, honestly. Well, yeah, I just want to take you along with this journey. Well, well, this is just an update video, so there's not gonna. This is the video that we're gonna upload today, and depending on how I feel, we'll keep. I'll keep y'all guys updated on the Astro Real account on Instagram. Follow it, and yeah. Um, thank you to everybody that wished me um, wish me uh, wish me better health, and you know, wish me get better soon everything i see you know i didn't respond but i see it you know and it means a lot because damn bro i wouldn't wish this upon nobody this shit's fucking depressing my nigga god damn bro but yeah um take care and i'll see you all soon <coughs> um so back to what i said or when i was with my cousin so january 2nd when i left you know i left right in January, and I got tested January 4th. Whenever I'm in line, my cousin tells me, the one that stayed with, he tells me his sister, his dad, his mom, his cousin, his other sister, and, his gr and her sister's girlfriend all tested positive. And I stayed with them. So I'm over here thinking, fuck, I got it, bro. You know, my boy, that boy Ricky was trying to tell me, oh, you don't got it, don't worry about it. You know, it's negative, but bro. I know damn well I had it, bro. If I was allergies, I would not be feeling this way, bro. I feel like I was dying. I did not feel good at all. And, you know, I was telling him, I'm like, bro, I know you're saying that, bro, but it's not. I'm going to be positive. I'll tell you this now. And when it came positive, it broke my heart and broke his heart. Because it's just like, damn, bro. Two weeks. God damn, bro. But, yeah, you know, it sucks. But, you know, we, we'll move on. <sighs> okay. Uh, so yeah, uh, well, this is the actual end of the video. So you know, uh, take care. 
I'll keep you all updated on everything and what happens. So yeah, I'll see you all later.